Hey everyone, this is Coffee Chug, and today I want to take a look at this website that I recently came across called VidCode. And in particular, they have a challenge up here for a few days left called the Snapchat Challenge, where you'd be creating your own geo filter. Um, I have not done this, I have not used this website. I literally just created an account a few minutes ago and thought I would just um, kind of record my learning and thinking as we go through this because this could be a potential website to help kids really understand some coding and give themselves some real life application. In this case, with kids with Snapchat, it's a perfect fit. Um, so let's jump into it and uh, see where it takes us. So this challenge here, it's gonna walk us through how to make a Snapchat filter, as you can see right here. Uh, and once we publish it, we could get featured, but um, let's go ahead and see where it takes us. So we're gonna take, let's see, the webcam button below into the code editor or upload and select a video from the library in the bottom right of your screen. Here I am, so we're gonna go ahead and test this. We're gonna add a rectangle to the bottom of the video. So you can see right now so far, I haven't done any coding, we're doing kind of a GUI interface, graphic interface um, by dragging these blocks over, but then the kids are able to see um, the kind of coding developed here a little bit. So in this case, the movie is turning onto the webcam, and then we can see that it's building a rectangle where the height and the width is 200, um, and it's blue here with the color, and we could probably change these as we get going here, but we'll not mess with that yet. So you can see here, good now, it's trying to give us some explanation of what's going on, so we can change the color I'm assuming we can just go through and red, yellow. So we'll go with yellow here. This will pet. This we can adjust. It'll probably affect not too much. So, all right. Uh, so I was going the wrong way, huh? Jumped for the wrong way. So if we go from 1 to 0.5, we can now kind of see through uh, the image here. And so we're making it a little bit more transparent by adjusting those numbers. So this is good for kids to see and understand. All right, now we're back to school tip. We're going to drag the text button into the code editor. So I'm going to drag this in. All right, back to school tip. So what it's doing is teaching us then how the code works. So in this case, whatever we type in right here is what's going to show up over here in this screen right there. Um, there is... font that I really like. So let's see if it works. Floyd size.
All right, so here what we're doing is just messing around with these things. Um, getting the text level, and if I change this, this is the height. You can see that it was moving up here in the screen. And now I just want to be able to adjust this. So what I can do, if you kind of think about it here, the width here is 200. So I'm assuming if I make this 100, it's going to put it right in the center, which it did. So you can go back up here to your box, the height here. Um, and then I probably wanted this perfectly in the center. You're going to have to play around with that a little bit to get it where you want. All right, and I just added this tip X here um, just to get it more centrally aligned within the box there so uh, let's see what's next we can change the color and so what we're going to do just add this I'm actually going to add it up here So what we've done there, we obviously had to include the parentheses here. And so my tip color, this is the font, it's made it black. I can make that any color I want. But for now, we're just going to keep it black. Um, and now we can adjust the size. So I'm just going to add that down below here as well. And let's just make it... See what 100 does. This is way too big. I'm just gonna keep it 50. All right. So now we got to go through here and grab our graphics as it suggested. And we're gonna add. the graphic here. Now I want this over to the left. way over so I'll make it kind of do that now for this one my backpack is way too big so I'm actually going to scale it way down there we go. That's about the perfect size that I want. So now I gotta adjust this down here a little bit. Oh, wrong way. Perfect. 325. And my scale, I went down one fourth scale with my tip here. So 
So now we can add an emoji. Uh, so we're gonna add an emoji block now. There's that. Chrome top menu. So click edit and emoji. All right, so I want to find a coffee one here, hopefully. Objects here. Um, let's see, coffee, the coffee I don't see. All right, so what's it telling me? Chrome top menu, I don't know what that means, so I'm not gonna be able to do that. That. We're going to copy this, I believe. Ah, perfect. All right, so I went to this website. I just highlighted this, right clicked, copy. And then, boom, I pasted it right in there. Now I want to move this. Over, I don't. We'll put the rotation piece in there, but I don't really want it right where it's at. Um, so we can play around with this. There's one, and then I believe you know, if we look at these other options, what we did earlier with the tip. And the graphic should be able then to just say emoji dot y equals move So what, early when I did the backpack, if you're thinking, if you remember, on our Y coordinate, we had 325. So I wonder if that'll be the same. It's clear down at the bottom, which is OK. And then we want to shift it over. So we're going to come in here to emoji.x equals. And let's make it 100. All right, so this one's going to need more. So we're getting close. Perfect, 375. Now I want to just raise this up a little bit. 300, let's make it, boom. There it is, bring me copy. So now I've got my uh, filter. 
we we'll go ahead and click submit. Here's my code. We learned a lot of things. Right here, we kind of did the walk through the drag and drop, and eventually you can see by the end, we were able to actually start doing our own coding and programming, which is, which is pretty neat. So let's go ahead and click Submit. Oh, spell it right. And there you go. And there you have it. Bow tie. I am a coffee. And there you have it. So let's take a look. Let me know what you think. Um, I'm going to keep playing around this website some more and post some others. But in the meantime, see if you can create your own Snapchat filter. And I'd love to see it. So share it with me on Twitter or Facebook or just send me the link. I'd love to take a look at it. And, uh, Feature your ideas as well, and maybe in a future blog post of the great things that can be done when we teach kids a little bit of how to code. Till next time.